All right, welcome back to the Drew Pearson Show. I'm Drew Pearson. I'm here along with Jim Proctor. He's the uh, general manager of Dodge City, where we are today shooting the Drew Pearson Show. And also with us, we have a special guest, Jen Reed, and she's the senior director of the automotive group with Equifax. Well, welcome, guys. How's it going? Great, Drew. Doing Thanks. good. And appreciate the opportunity to be here today. All right, and we appreciate you taking the time to be with us. And you come all the way from Atlanta. Yep. You got a good trip in? We did, thank you. Right on. And uh, are you a Falcon fan or a Cowboy fan coming out of Atlanta? Well, since we're in a different conference today, I'm going to be a fan of the Cowboy Nation. All right, so. right on. Well, you're a smart lady, too, because <laughs> we're right here in Cowboy Nation. And a lot of Cowboy fans, even though they haven't had much success on the field, they have a lot of success on the business side mm -hmm. and that fan nation, as you mentioned, is still strong with the Dallas Cowboys. Absolutely. So we appreciate you taking the time. And Jimmy, how's things going with Dodge City? We appreciate you having us here. Doing well. We've got a lot of our new products in and of course we have the uh, no charge lifetime warranty here on every vehicle. You're aware of that. And, right. Um, happy to be here and appreciate Jen coming in and see what we can find out about Equifax. Sure. So Dodge City has done a lot with Equifax, huh? Well, we do a lot. I mean, we do it on a daily basis. Right. I mean, dealing with credit and yes. credit situations yeah. and, and things of that nature. So yes, we deal with it on a daily basis. Well, tell us, Jen, a little bit about Equifax. Sure. Well, Equifax is one of the three um, reporting agencies here in the U.S. Um, we're actually one of the oldest, about 114 years old wow. um, this year. So certainly we've been doing this for a very long time. Um, and one of the things we pride ourselves on is having a really c complete, full view of the customer um, and being able to do it very quick so folks like Jim are able to do what he needs to do on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure cars get down the road. Amen. And we all know how important that credit score is, mm -hmm. but am I more than just a score? Am I more than just a number with my score? Absolutely. And I think that's something that really is a relevant discussion. Over the last couple of years, you know, folks had some tough times. Um, and really what we looked at was, is a score was just one piece of the picture. You know, and there's some people, like good people, just bad things happen. So what we really, Equifax is focused on doing is bringing more of that total view of the customer. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the ways um, that we want to do that is make sure folks like Jim have the information that they need. Um, and just part of that customer experience with the dealership, um, you know, making sure that it's quick, it's seamless, and it's easy. Um, and I don't know about you, Drew, but I certainly had some friends that uh, had a tough deal, but they were good people and they deserved to get a car loan. Yeah, and it's very important to have that good score nowadays, mm -hmm. more so than ever, right? Yes, oh, absolutely. And I think that's something as well that um, we start to transition to kind of that new world of that more total view of the customer. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to see lenders starting to ask a lot more questions to kind of identify, especially for those folks that maybe have less than perfect credit, whether they should be treated as somebody that has better credit than maybe what their situation. Especially, you know, the conversation around that first time owner, college grad, you know, that millennial customer, where maybe they just don't have a lot of credit, it's going to be really important to help propel the auto industry forward. Um, and Jim, the, Jim, have you seen the industry change as, as the credit reporting has changed? Yeah, I mean, we certainly saw a lot of sh basic shutdown with the uh, banks and them pulling back the reins, start going back to 08. Uh, when you had some issues with the industry, you had some issues with the economy. Mm -hmm. But just like Jen said, I mean, bad things happen to good people, which is, you know, one of the reasons why we all talk about, you know, that you're more than just a score. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what we've seen, though, and, and what we've been able to do in working with Equifax and working with the customers and working with the lenders is that we've started to see this come back. Mm -hmm. And like she said, they're taking a more in-depth look, not just looking at the score, but looking at you know what the past was, what happened, asking questions, kind of getting back into the things that we used to do. You know, today these things are so they're so modern, they're so computerized. I mean, they have these scorecards, and mm -hmm. nobody wanted to step out of the comfort zone. You know, now they're realizing that there's a real opportunity out there in the market, and it certainly helped to boost the market. Mm -hmm. I mean, we went from the the market went from a 10 million uh, SAR up to a 16.8 last year. Wow. So, I mean, that's been the continual growth over the last few years. So the market is back, and a lot of it has to do with Equifax. A lot of it has to do with the lenders 
reopening themselves up to the public. And you see that the same way? Absolutely, and it's certainly something that we've seen and we heard from the lenders was when they had a more complete view of that customer and the situation, they were able to buy more confidently. So we were able to kind of incorporate some of our assets such as our workforce solutions, which we have a database of over 54 million employer records. Wow. And what it does now is allow us to be able to provide both the dealer and the lender that employment information um, in addition to credit so that we can show them that, hey, this is somebody you want to lend to. They've got a stable job, they've got frequent income, um, so they can make those confident decisions and it definitely trickles down and benefits the customer. And I think something we can't underestimate right now is that customer experience. You know, certainly it's no secret that customers don't always find buying a car um, the most pleasurable experience. So some of this is just really kind of going to help bring that level of ease and confidence to the customer that you don't have a dealership sending you home you know, and asking you for a bunch of information. Right. And when you drive off the lot, you know you own that car. Yeah. And Drew, I don't know the last time you bought a car, but certainly the last time I was there, mm -hmm. it, it can while. be stressful. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, a lot I, of pressure, yeah. Absolutely. So I think it's important, you know, three out of every 10 vehicles going down the road today are customers that have less than perfect credit or thinner files. So it really is important that dealers and lenders be able to confidently do business with them because we've seen, you know, when the car business um, is bad, the economy's bad. So what we want to do is help continue to propel that industry forward and it's good for everybody. Jim, are you finding a lot of people when they come in, are they pre-approved that they go to Equifax and the other agencies before they even come in, well, knowing what their score might be? Some of them will. Um, there are some issues with some of these some of these free credit reports that you see online mm -hmm. um, because the scores that we get are what they're called they're called auto enhanced scores so they're not exactly what you may see online they could be higher they could be lower mm -hmm. um, but I mean we do have the opportunities people can go to our website they can obviously go on they can they can get pre-approved through us there um, there's several different avenues that they can mm -hmm. that they can use to get pre-approved. We get several customers that will, you know, they go to our website, they find the car that they want, they send in a, they do it all through email, mm -hmm. and they send in the lead. They come in, they're pre-approved. The car's out front, the car's ready to go. It's just a matter of getting through the, you know, the state required paperwork and, mm -hmm. and just kind of moving on down the road, and we can make it a very pleasurable, very smooth experience, and that's what we try and do. Yeah. Well, in doing that experience, are there any changes down the road that you see in how you deal with the automotive dealers and the customers as well? Absolutely. The secret is, is well, it's really two things. One, provide the complete and total picture of that customer. Mm -hmm. um, but two, let's speed it up. You know, let's make sure it's, yeah. it's fast, it's easy to read, and there's that level of transparency that the dialogue between the dealer and the customer, they can see, and you know, to Jim's earlier point, you're not just focusing on the score, you're really focusing on that customer and that customer situation. And it really helps when you're having those dialogue to have a clear picture so you can turn around and have that discussion with the lender. Mm -hmm. So the lender can confidently buy that deal and give the customer the best terms possible. Right on, so. that's some great information. And we'd like to uh, thank Jen Reed, uh, Senior Director of the Automotive side of Equifax for being with us, coming all the way from Atlanta. And of course, uh, Jim Proctor, General Manager here at Dodge City, and thank you for hosting the Drew Pearson Show once again. And the Drew Pearson Show will continue right after this.